A lot of people laughed at us that the idea of taking a big satellite and miniaturizing it into a very small space, you wouldn't be able to accomplish much, much with those tiny satellites, that you wouldn't be able to point them very accurately, you wouldn't be able to generate very much solar power, you wouldn't be able to transmit the data down, and you wouldn't be able to um, support instruments that did real science. As we've evolved, we've been able to overcome every one of those technical hurdles. I'm Steven Steg. I'm one of the co-founders of Blue Canyon Technologies. I'm the CTO. I've done a lot of the development of the components and spacecraft mechanisms and structures that we use here. And I'm guiding the engineering group as we move forward. We started in 2008. There were three of us. We were all engineers working at different local aerospace companies. And we uh, saw an opportunity to miniaturize satellites. And so right now we are developing satellites that are 10 to 20 pounds that you can hold in your hands. So we've been in business for about 11 years and we're currently over 170 employees. We have 13 satellites on orbit. Uh, we have enabled over 60 different missions and we have um, over 80 different projects that we're working, different satellites. This is our all the satellites that we have on orbit where Blue Canyon has provided a significant amount of the parts or hardware. This wall keeps going because our plan is to you know, work well into, out into the future. This is where we manufacture and assemble our solar panels. So all satellites use solar panels and this is where we do the assembly. Right now the technicians are testing the panels to make sure there's no problems or broken wires. All the satellites, before we launch them, we need to make sure they're gonna work. So we do all that structural testing right here on this vibration test uh, uh, table. Then we put the satellites on there and we uh, test it to worse environments than we'll ever see during launch. And that's how we know that it's gonna survive the launch environment. So these are all thermal and thermal vacuum chambers. This is how we know that a satellite's gonna work in the space environment. And this is where we test those models to make sure they're accurate so that everything gets fully tested before it's launched. There's a lot of research scientists out there that are chasing very few large uh, NASA programs. And so by miniaturizing the satellites, they cost a lot less to launch. And so uh, the whole program costs are much smaller. There's been just this pent up demand to be able to get many more space missions going. And we found a very cost effective way of doing that.